Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team, finally back after what is it, 10 days? Uh, as I posted in my most recent update video, I broke my laptop, finally got this one in the mail after it was lost, a beautiful ROG uh, Strix desktop, and uh, this thing is a beast, man. Almost had to sell my car just to buy it, thank God for business tax deductions, that's all I can say. But, we have a very interesting video today, and so before we start, let's go ahead and view some easy UFO footage real fast that maybe some of us can debunk. What the f is that, bro? It's an alien, bro. Bro, this world going to shit, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? This is a real video, bro. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, so very strange. The uploader of this video titled it Shapeshifting UFO Sighted Over Chicago, Illinois, August 26th. And it definitely looks like it's shapeshifting of some kind. And when I saw it, it automatically reminded me of a short video I posted while I was on vacation at the beach of someone flying a kite of what looked like a squid of some sort blowing in the wind. And I said, hey guys, here's some UFO footage for you if I have nothing else to bring back. And it kind of looks like that, but as you compare the two, whatever this thing is above Chicago, it looks like it has many, many more tentacles of different sizes. And the way this thing shifts from sort of a floating squid to almost a spider-like object to something with straight legs sort of sitting there like a frog, I just don't know. Uh, if it is a kite, it's very elaborate. It's nothing like I saw at the beach. So you guys tell me what you think down below. And like I said, that was just a video just to get us warmed up. Now, before we go any further, as you know, and as you heard in my most recent interview with Darcy Weir and Luna Cognita, Darcy Weir and he had worked on a documentary and now myself and Darcy are working on a new upcoming documentary. It won't be out until Christmas, but it's called Secret Space UFOs Rise of the TR-3B. And Darcy actually flew out to Ohio a couple of weekends ago from Mexico. We filmed some shots for the film and he asked me a favor. And so he wanted me to tell you guys that if you could, if you had the time, there's two things that he needs, or rather we need for this documentary. The first of those are any animators. And I'm talking 3D animators that would be able to animate uh, TR-3B shaped UFOs or triangular UFOs, which is what the TR-3B is, the black triangle. Uh, something like the, the footage that you're seeing here, the stock footage here, but any 3D animators that would be able to create UFO footage like what you're seeing that is high quality and that we could use for recreations in the documentary or something like that, B-roll footage, uh, please send an email to the email address down in the video description. It's the very first link in the video description down below. And so if you do have 3D animating skills, shoot Darcy an email. Just put in the subject 3D animator and maybe some samples of your portfolio or footage that you can do, you know. Now, secondly, besides the 3D animators, we also need actual footage of TR-3Bs. Now, Darcy and I have compiled a growing database of real-life UFO sightings of these mysterious black triangles, and we are looking for more to add to this documentary. So, if any of you have footage of the strange triangular craft in the sky, please also send that footage to the same email down below, and simply put as the subject of those emails, TR-3B UFO footage. And it can be something that you caught yourself, or it can be something that you found on YouTube. So, I know we have some good researchers out there, and uh, we just want as much footage as we can get, because we're planning on making a Grand Slam documentary here. So, 3D animators and TR-3B UFO sighting footage. Send it over to the email address below. And so now, let's get back to some more mysterious UFO footage. We have a lot to talk about in today's video, not just UFO footage, but secret things being launched up into space by companies down here on Earth. We'll get to that in a second, but first, go ahead and check this out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so this footage of this very strange purplish worm type object moving ever so slowly through the sky was uploaded to a YouTube channel by the name of GameVet02, which you're seeing here. And from the looks of his channel, he posts videos of space, and it almost looks like he's using uh, an infrared or night vision camera, much like the Aurora Pro night vision camera, which I recently purchased. And so he was, you know, checking out the night sky when he caught this here and i am at a loss for words i have no idea what this object could be i do know that in infrared or at least with the aurora pro when you're looking at things in the infrared it tends to change things to a pink color where trees will be white the sky or things in the sky will be pink and so forth and so we have this strange object slowly moving through space we can see the stars in the background i don't see any uh, lights airplane lights or anything like that blinking on this thing no faa lights and it looks like a cigar you know your your typical cigar how many videos have i done on these massive cigar shaped objects captured not only on earth but out in space uh, telescope footage and more so tell me what you think about this very very strange and thanks to gamevet02 for posting it hope he finds more now on to this video of what was called a strange rotating cloud that was sighted over monroe louisiana check this out Te hubieras ido por ahí para que lo tomáramos mejor. Para que viéramos exactamente qué es. Te hubieras ido por ahí para que lo tomáramos mejor. Para que viéramos exactamente qué es. Okay, on this one, I'm totally stumped. What do you guys think? Uh, CGI, uh, a kite, swamp gas reflecting off of Venus. I have no idea. It's an extremely short clip. It looks like a cloud or something that looks like a cloud rotating, uh, spinning. I have no idea. So the jury's out on this one. Tell me what you think uh, over Louisiana and um, strange, strange stuff. Now, the next two clips I'm going to show you here have some definite similarities in my opinion and very well may be linked to the TR3B category. And so check out this first one. No. A weird little thing. Looks like a lot of stingray type thing. Okay, so like you guys just heard, the uh, person who was recording this said it, it looked sort of like a stingray looking object uh, type shape, and this was recorded over England on August 16th, and I have to say, it definitely has a triangular shape to it, it looks to be sort of sitting there in the sky before finally uh, disappearing or vanishing or maybe being covered over by the dense thick fog. Uh, over in England, land of the fog, as I like to call it, uh, and it just disappears into the mist. And here I'm just showing you some different filters here, just trying to, to give you the best shot, and um, I don't know guys, what do you think? Could this be a balloon? I'm not so sure. The thing, it looks pretty static, it looks pretty still and well controlled in the sky. Uh, it's all black, and as I said before, it looks a lot like the next clip I'm about to show you, so why don't we go ahead and check that out. Here it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so yet again, another silent, still, black, triangular-shaped UFO sitting in the sky. Uh, a much longer video, thank God. And so, very similar to the previous clip. And in this close-up here, I mean, this thing has some shape to it. it. It looks similar to one of the craft we would build using all of this stealth technology that we have. But nonetheless, uh, something is sitting in the sky here. This was captured, and I know I'm going to probably butcher this. It was captured over Le Monigetti, France. So, I know I butchered it. I know I did. But, nonetheless, it was, it was captured above France. That's the point. So, if you were in France and you saw this object, keep your eyes to the skies. And if you capture footage, send it over to me, guys. And so, lastly today... I want to talk to you guys, and you may have seen this already. I know I'm playing catch up. It's been 10 days, but hey, I had no computer. But recently, and you're going to like this, I love the way that these space companies, public or private, they love to drip feed or, or sort of name things that they are sending up out into space after UFO incidents or objects or legends, sort of as a little aha to your face. You know what I mean? And so recently, a quote unquote weather satellite that they so strangely named Monolith was launched up into space. And so here you're seeing the first article here from the Gisborne Herald. It says Monolith satellite on launch pad. Now, once again, this is a classified quote unquote weather satellite, but we'll go ahead and read some of it. It says, quote, Rocket Lab has successfully launched a payload for the U.S. Space Force, the private space company announced today. The mission, which is called, quote, it's a little chilly up here, sent a demonstration satellite called Monolith to space for the U.S. government. Unlike the company's May launch, this one happened without incident. On July 29th, Rocket Lab completed its dedicated mission for the USSF, sending a, quote, research and development satellite called Monolith into low Earth orbit. This satellite is designed to deploy a sensor with a mass that comprises a large part of the overall satellite's mass. The satellite serves as a demonstration that paves the way for future use of deployable sensors featuring smaller, you know what, blah, 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 blah. I don't believe a word of it, all right? It's another secret, and they always say it's a weather satellite for some reason. Just like they said uh, the Roswell wreckage was nothing but a weather balloon. So if something crashes on Earth, it's a weather balloon. But if they send something up into space that is classified, well, it's just a weather satellite. And it was just very strange to me that they named this one Monolith. After all, probably one of the most, if not one of the top five topics that I've made the most amount of videos on on this channel in the past 10 years has been about these very mysterious, what are in my opinion alien, until someone shows me otherwise, alien looking monoliths found on other planets. Now, what is a monolith? Well, it's a square or a rectangular like structure that stands up tall from the ground. If you've seen the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, you'll remember where they discover these alien monoliths, these large metallic rectangular objects on the moon on planet Earth, and they seem to be some sort of alien beacon of some kind. And I've done many videos showing you the many monoliths, as we have called them, that have been found throughout our solar system. The most mysterious of them all would probably be the ones found on the planet Mars and its mysterious little potato-shaped moon Phobos, each of which have their own monolith-typed structures. And you're seeing satellite images of those structures here. Now, this one here takes the shape of more of a square-type statue. 
that is rising up from the ground. We're looking down on top of it. You can see this perfectly straight shadow being cast down on the surface. And it's just, it's like they say in the movie Prometheus, God does not create in straight lines. And while this object isn't a perfect square, obviously due to weathering over who knows how many millions of years, this object was found in the middle of nowhere. It's an elongated square structure standing tall up above Mars. And it always makes me wonder, why don't we send the rover over to check out things like this? We're wasting billions of dollars in taxpayers' money so that the rover can take samples of the soil to look for past microbial life when we could take the rover or drop one down right at this monolith here, either the one on Phobos or Mars, and maybe one day get a shot like the one you're seeing here, which is just a mock-up, of course. This is not a real image of a uh, rover capturing the monolith on Mars, but this is what it would look like if we actually sent one of our rovers to one of these monoliths. Now here is the other monolith on Phobos, which looks exactly like the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's very thin, rectangular, casts its shadow down on the surface, also looks a bit weathered, but nonetheless still looks very pretty and very sharp for something that again is standing tall in the middle of nowhere on a small moon for potentially millions of years. And so I'm just showing you some different angles here of the Phobos monolith. I mean, look at this thing. We have some rocks and debris around, and then just this, this slab, this rectangular slab. And then there was the recent discovery that I posted here on the channel just a few videos back of another one of these objects found on the planet Mercury this time. And like the other Mars image, in this satellite image you're looking at here, we are looking directly down at the top of this rectangular shaped object. And this thing looks to be massively tall because you can see the shadow of the object being cast on the ground. So imagine you have this very tall rectangular slab of concrete or metal or what have you. And you're looking straight down from the top as we are in this satellite photo. And so we see just the top of the monolith and nothing else, which is what you're seeing. And then we see this long black shadow stretching across the surface of planet Mercury, giving us the true shape and height of whatever this thing is. And it looks just like the one on Phobos and also very similar to the one on Mars. So yeah, for them to now be sending up a classified weather satellite, although I don't know why you'd need to send up a satellite that has nothing to do with anything but the weather, but I digress. My point here is, guys, that we are sending up probes into space that I believe we are sending up to do reconnaissance. I mean, heck, and then we have this new satellite called Monolith, the very word that means so much and has so much mystery behind it, especially in the UFO community. And it's just a wonder why they choose the names they do or use the pictures that they do in some of these mission patches. So yeah, guys, uh, you guys can check out the articles for yourselves. Monolith Satellite has been launched. Uh, it happened at the end of August. And there you have it. Tell me what you think down below. And so with that, guys, I want to thank you again for stopping by. Be sure to hop over to the online merch shop where until the 7th, that's one day away, if you use the promo code SUNSET, you will get 10% off of everything in the shop. And we just added some brand new tees, shirts, hoodies with some new awesome logo configurations I think you're going to love. So check them out. They're selling like crazy. We have hats. It helps support the channel and it helps me pay for this damn desktop that I had to buy. But I love Love you guys new videos from secure team are going to be coming in fast so hit that subscribe button click that notification bell or else you will not know when i upload a new video so do that for me stay safe stay tuned and i'll see you back in just a bit